<laughs> Hi, I'm Sanjay, and this is my mum Shashi, and together we built a business online. Sanjay's suggestion came up. Let's take a spice tin, put it on eBay, took the first picture. What well, kind of was almost a bit of a silly idea on Christmas Day, we realised that actually um, there was some demand for it. Um, still didn't really realise at the time how much demand. The things have gone just completely out of hand after that. It's history now. <laughs> Suddenly, got an email from a company in New York who wanted sort of 10,000 of our spice kits. Literally, day and night for a week, I was working to grind the spices, make the spice blends, hand pack each one. I had to call in family and friends to help me pack this order day and night. And amazingly, we managed to do it. It was like literally jumping and getting all excited that it worked. Yeah. It's important that you take risks, but sometimes you have to be careful and do it wisely. But also it's really important to take the risks in the first place because if you don't take any risks, you're not going to grow, so. Yeah, but you've got to be careful. But you've got to take them. Online gives you an amazing opportunity, yes. so it was really important for us to have our own website. I knew nothing about e-commerce, I knew nothing about selling online. We've definitely made a lot of mistakes and e-commerce is very much about trial and error. It's not something you can get right from the start. It does take time and it takes lots of tweaks from photography to content to just other little small things that you need to do. But I immerse myself in the technology, I immerse myself with other e-commerce shop owners and learn all the tricks of the trade that I could and implemented them myself. You've got an option just to have a landing page if you don't have a full-blown website, which is just a bit of information about what you're doing, the products you're making or the service you're offering. An alternative to that, if you don't even have a landing page, is just to use social media. Our social media is just a really true portrayal of what we do day to day. We don't have a strategy. I never have. I've never employed anyone to help us with it. And to be honest with you, I just literally share what we do on a day to day basis. I have a nickname called Mama Spice, so I have got to be, still be everybody's Mama Spice now. I think it's the difficulty of having a small family business and, you know, mum's very much the face of the brand as well. So when she's not there, people are like, where's Mama Spice? Everybody wants to see me in the front line kind of thing. And I'm just loving every minute of it. I think it's really important to get your story down and to really share the content about kind of your business um, online, show the making process and everything that goes behind the scenes. We've really found that people go from just sort of liking our products to actually loving us as a business. And we do we get inundated with positive feedback. Because customers are teaching us lots of things yeah, we're learning. on social media kind of thing. They, they tell us what to improve and what not to. Yeah, and it's silly not to kind of take that feedback and yeah. learn from your customer base because they're the people paying the money for your products. So they're the best people to teach you. Branding is really, really important and we have made mistakes in the past. We were initially quite naive in terms of how much packaging played a part. When we launched our products to the shops and the retailers, we used to print these kind of packaging sleeves on our own home printers and we just found they weren't selling as well um, in the stores as we had hoped. As an entrepreneur, you've got to spin a lot of plates and you've got to wear a lot of hats, but at the same time, you really need to understand your limitations and there's certain areas that you just can't do on your own. You can always employ somebody else to do it for you. And for us, it was the best thing that we ever did. Uh, found the right company who understood our product and they just created something incredible that I could never have done myself. Anybody who's got any simple or any kind of ideas, just start from very small and just expand from there. When you're online, you've got access from not just the local market, but the whole world. So just try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then at least you are small and you can pull back. Also, there's really good resources to work out what you actually need to do to get online. You can delve deep, learn the basics and almost become an expert you know, with time. It's well worth it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>